Welcome to the Simply Joyful Podcast Live with my special guest, Kathy Lip. Get ready to be encouraged. Welcome, friends. Welcome to Simply Joyful Podcast Live. I have some exciting things happening this week. If you missed it, yesterday I released Louis Giglio's interview on our YouTube channel right here. So go check that out. It's an amazing interview. And right now, while we are all staying at home, it's a great time to build some family devotions. Today I have none other than Kathy Lip. Now, Kathy is best known for her books like The Clutter-Free Home, but Kathy was a little prophetic because her newest book is called Ready for Anything. Look at this. It is preparing your heart and your home for any big or small crisis. Holy smokes. I am so happy to have her here today. So we are going to run through some great practical tips for what you can be doing right now. There are going to be a boatload of links in the description below. And I'll cha I actually even change those out from time to time because right now things are changing. Um, so the best way to get any books that are recommended online these days is to get an audiobook or get the Kindle version of that book. Amazon has slowed down physical copies. I know most of us have our books in our store. So even books like my book, MOM, you can get that from my store or from other vendors. So I'll put links to that below. But do make sure that you check out all the links below. I'm going to jump over to my interview with Kathy. But first, I wanted to make sure you guys know about my resources that I've been talking about. We have the School at Home Routine, which is a free resource for you. I also have a Getting Prepared for the Coronavirus. We're kind of in it right now. <laughs> so how to continue to prepare. But this is a comprehensive guide on how to prepare, how to meal plan, all of those kind of details. Um, that is for sale in my store, so I'll put the link below. You can go to christyclover.com forward slash sanity to find links to everything. Um, that's how you're going to get your free copy of How to School at Home. Without further ado, here's my conversation with Kathy Lip. Well, welcome, Kathy, to Simply Joyful Podcast TV. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Chrissy, congratulations. This is wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. No, it's fun to be able to do this for folks, to bring them great interviews with great people, and we, they get to, to watch us interact. I don't know if it's different it. than listening or watching, but I think it's fun. <laughs> I, I always prefer being able to see the person I'm talking to. I always oh. think, you know, like, because I'm like, are they getting it or are they not getting it? I know. That'll take the conversation two totally different ways. Oh, it's so true. And it's like, I talk with my hands and I, I, I yeah, that, I just work better that way. So I'm like, people need to see what I'm, see what I'm saying. Like, that sounds exactly. funny, but they need to see it. <laughs> I understand 100%. Oh, well, Kathy, before we jump into things, can you give us a quick little rundown on who you are, a little bit yeah. about your family and, and what you do? And, and yeah. we'll get into your incredibly timed book in a moment. Oh my so, goodness. uh, so who I am, my name is Kathy Lip, and uh, my main claim to fame in the, the business writing world is clutter-free. Uh, so we have a group of about 10,000 women and a couple of brave men, yes. Um, and so we, we just go over there and love on each other and support each other, and we help people declutter their homes so they can do what they're supposed to do in life. And I am married to the best guy in the world, Roger, who um, we are, this is second marriage for both of us. So I have two kids and two bonus kids. And we have a cat and a 10 pound dog named Moose, who she is, um, <laughs> We thought she was going to be a 40 pound dog dog. They introduced her as a puggle, but she's, she's a total knockoff. And she thinks she does not know she's 10 pounds. She tries to rule the world. And so that's, that's, that's so me funny. in a nutshell. And uh, we also have a writing retreat center up in the mountains of Northern California called writing at the red house, which is just the best place ever. Oh, and you're snowed out right now. We are snowed out right now. It happens every once in a while. Now, you can get snowed in and it's actually kind of fun. But that would be out, fun. Yeah, we, we, yeah, it's, it's a different thing. So we, we are this, I'm coming from a live studio at my mom's house. <laughs> I love so, it. Live. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I'm like, will red and turquoise work together? Because that's all I have and I can't go shopping. Why? Well, yes, it will. So that's what we're doing. That's right. That is right. <laughs> I love it. Okay. My funny snowed in story is that um, we, I used to do this girls reunion that we would do with some of my girlfriends that we knew each other before we started having kids. We're all early married and started having growing our family. So we would, we started moving away. And yeah. so we, 
we'd get together once a year. And this one time we went to Lake Tahoe and we got snowed into the cabin and yeah. my girlfriend's dad helped manage the cabin we were staying in. Yeah. And he's like, well, do you guys have a plan for dinner? I'm like, well, we were going to go out. And he's like, yeah, you're not going to get out. And I'm like, oh, we'll just order pizza. And he's like, um, you can't, <laughs> you can't order pizza. <laughs> like if, no. if you they can't, can't get, get out, get they can't get you. in. <laughs> so he had a DiGiorno pizza in his freezer and he like hiked through the snow and brought it to us. Oh, he's like, pizza delivery. Oh my goodness. So sweet. Oh my I was goodness. Say, living in the mountains, it was very good prep for everything that has been going on right now. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you don't run to the store for a cup, you know, for milk. Like, yeah, you just, you figure it out. And so that's a whole lot of what we're doing right now is just figuring it out. And so my friend's daughter said, Miss Kathy, she goes, this is so much easier for you because you're used to being alone. <laughs> You're kind of right. Yeah, you're kind of right. That is so funny. Well, yes. I have to admit that we're a homeschool family and my husband retired a year ago. So he's been home. So like other than we don't get out, right. our lives, our day-to-day -day lives don't look that different. We're used to having Steve home. It would have been a massive adjustment for us because he traveled for 21 years if, oh. if he hadn't retired. So right. that part, it's like, okay, you know, this is every day. So my kids keep hearing about uh, other kids getting to watch a lot of TV and shows. They're like, why, why don't we get to do that? What, what, <laughs> Mom, that's what they told us to do. Yeah. They're getting extra long spring breaks. Wait, do we have a spring break? <laughs> it's been so cute. Yeah. I'm like, yes, Go it's in the now. backyard. That's your spring break. I know. It is crazy hacking this up. But I am so excited to have you on because the Lord prompted you to write this book. <laughs> I'm so glad okay. you have a copy. Yay. I have a copy. Yes. It is the like, it's, it's the, the publisher's copy. So it's yes. an advanced reader. Yes. Um, so it's, that's called an arc for those who are not in the publishing world. Yeah. I would have never known what an arc was um, before this, but you wrote a book. It's called ready for anything, preparing your heart and home for any crisis, big or small. This landed in the mail like the day people started talking about staying home. And I was like, I, oh, Kathy, I love you. I can't this is, and it's okay. And we're going to talk about how you get this book in a minute, but oh my goodness, the timing. It's crazy. Well, so people are like, no, Nostradamus much. And I'm like, no, no, no. I like, I had no idea anything was happening. I had no advance warning, no friends in China who were telling, oh, you know, anything word. like that. What, what had really gone on is uh, this has just been on my heart for a couple of years, and it all started in the weirdest way. My husband and I were on vacation in Canada, and I booked a bunch of Airbnbs, and none of them had washing machines or dryers. So I'm spending my vacation in these hot, rinky-dink little laundromats. I'm like, ugh. There's got to be a better way. So I started looking up, how can you do laundry without a washing machine? Well, Chrissy, I'll just take you, tell you, um, it took me to some prepper websites, and there's some dark stuff out there. Like, I do not uh -huh. recommend you go to a prepper website. That's not a place you want to spend your time oh, yeah. and energy, okay? But it's pretty funny, though. It's entertaining. It so is entertaining. Go to them with some, like, you know, I'm ready to be entertained. That, that's right. <laughs> and at first, I totally rejected them. I'm like, okay, these guys are a bunch of weirdos. But then I realized, you know, there's some stuff that's happened in my life that I wish I had been better prepared for. And I'd always copped out with, well, I'll just trust God. And it's like, mm, yeah, which is a great thing until you're in the midst of it. And then you're like, wow, you know, that wisdom thing maybe would have been good too. Who knows? Yes. So I always say the book is for the people who are somewhere between just trust God and 10 years of canned beans. Like <laughs> there is, <laughs> there's, there's a good happy medium. Yes, there is wisdom there. And so this yeah. is saying, be prepared, but you don't have to be so scared. Like mm -hmm. you can, you can do the reasonable things that it's wise to do. And 95% of it is common sense. And about 5% of it feels a little weird, but it's actually a really good idea. And so that's kind of the happy medium. And I have to say, I'm really glad. Uh, I hate, I hate what's happening in the world, but I'm really glad for the timing because it gives me an opportunity to talk about, okay, so what do we do? Yeah. To, why it's important. Yeah, exactly. And, and how do we prepare yeah. for the next disaster? Now, mm. here's the thing. 
we're all experiencing this together. But mm-hmm. all of us have those things that happen individually. You know, for us, it's wildfires and earthquakes. And mm-hmm. for many people, it's unemployment, job loss, those, you know, um, maybe it's, you know, if you live in Houston, it's the floods. There's a million different things. And so we all have to know, like, what is our most typical emergency? Now, none of us, I mean, as far as I know, none of us saw this coming. And like the word, uh, you know, pandemic does not show up in the book. This was I know, not I remember one of those what, scenarios. I remember they first started throwing that word about. It. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like I played the game. <laughs> what book but, are we in? <laughs> yeah, and you know, it it felt so far away when it was in different countries. But you know, mm-hmm. those are real people who were suffering, and yeah. you know, we are so interconnected because of travel and because of what we're doing. You know, it makes sense that this was this was the thing, and um. You know, I, it just, it's overwhelming, but it doesn't have to, st- the feeling at first is overwhelming, but it doesn't have to stay overwhelming. We can do the thing. Absolutely. And it's really interesting too, because I think, you know, we're, we're talking ahead of time about how this has forced families to come together. So yes. it's forced some family time and Hey, you know, we're a homeschool family. So I'm like, amen. Everybody gets a little taste of what life is like. Where it's like, Oh, you homeschoolers, you were made for this. I'm like, no, it, it's hard. It's hard, and everybody's yeah. getting a little a little flavor of that, um, which right. is fabulous from the standpoint of I love that people are learning. I, they're learning it's harder, but they're also hopefully learning that you can simplify it. And so that's right. been the message I've been it trying to get out. Have yeah. to be, you know. I I had one friend who was counting up the number of teachers each of her five kids had. Oh, right, yeah. And she goes, you know, we have like thirty six people who, yeah. who are all assignments. working together. Yeah. And so she goes, so we're just unschooling at this point. Yeah. Like she goes, I no, can't even hope smart. to do yeah. what they do. And I love the meme about what we thought homeschoolers were like, you know, the, the women in the smock dresses. <laughs> no. Well, we actually know it's Not Wonder Woman. Smock. Yeah. That's yes, right. exactly. <laughs> and yeah. It, it, oh. Here's the thing that I want to remind people of. We are capable of more than we actually know. Yes. And whether it's homeschooling or being prepared or making a meal out of cans of chickpeas, instant milk and spam, we can, we can do this. We can do it. I did not store spam. I didn't think of that. You know what? We bought spam just because my husband's never tried it. And I'm like, well, if you're going to try it, now is the time. Now is the time. Yeah. That is awesome. I know I, I have like ingredients for a tuna casserole like on my list. And I'm like, I'm going to save that one. I'm going to save it until we're out of our perishable stuff. <laughs> but okay. So number one, I have to say that yeah. before we get off, you're going to have to tell everybody what the next book is you're working on so we can prepare ourselves because you're yeah. obviously a little prophetic in how, in how you're doing things. But so since, it's called, overwhel- yeah. it's, it's the overwhelmed devotional. So we're all going to okay. be overwhelmed at the same time, but we're, we're all, all used to that. That's yeah. right. That's yeah, how we can handle that fine. one. Yes. Whew. <laughs> well, since, I mean, we're going to talk about how people can get this. Well, we'll do, I'll go ahead and mention it now. So everything's changed. This book wasn't supposed to come out until June, but I do want you to give us some practical tips to be applying yeah. right now. Yes. Um, no, and then, no. then we can talk say, about how it's coming sooner. Yeah. I don't want to say, hey, wait till the book comes. No, 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 no. Don't we do need that. To figure this out right now. <laughs> right. So here's what, so the book is broken up really into three main ideas that you want to have three days of supplies that if you needed to leave your house instantly, Mm -hmm. that you would be able to do that. Another, so it's three, two, three, the other three, the other three is three months worth of just minimal expenses to get you through. But Mm -hmm. I want to financial, right. But Mm -hmm. I want to concentrate on the two in the middle. So the two is two weeks worth of food, water, power, if you have to shelter in place. So that's the part that we did, you know, that we said, okay, this is what we're preparing for. So I want to do some really practical things here. So the first thing is, if you haven't done it already, I want you to go through your food and just inventory everything you have. Because I think what people did is they went to the store, Christy, and they, they just bought everything that they knew that they were supposed to buy. And here's the thing, you know, everybody is downing on people for toilet paper, but here, when you don't know what's coming, 
you just go to your, you know, the move that you know. And like when you're getting ready for a, a shelter in place, whether it's, you know, a tornado or, you know, whatever it is, they tell you to buy toilet paper. So I'm not bagging on anybody who said I need to buy toilet paper. Now, if you went to Costco and you bought six flats of the toilet paper, I judge you. But if right. you- I, I, That happened to me. Like not with toilet paper, with all the Lysol cans. Somebody left with like uh, a, a crate full of Lysol cans. I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. What I love that our little independent store has done here is they say you can get one gallon of water a day. You can get one package of toilet paper a day. You can get one dozen eggs a day. I'm like, yes, because we can all do this. Now, some people argue that means I have to go back to the store more. No, you just have to figure other things out. It's like, but we all need to be able to get through this together. So I want you to take an inventory. See what is in your freezer. See what is in your pantry. See what is in your, you know, um, your fridge. Uh, what's in that candy stash drawer that you haven't told your husband about? You know, what is everywhere? And figure all that out and get rid of any food that is really expired. Now, if you have some salad that's a couple days past the day, eat that today. But if you have cans that, like I was cleaning out my mom's freezer and she had some frozen dinners in there from 2014. Yeah, nobody was going to eat that. We all nope. do it. We don't eat all it. do it. Yeah. So <laughs> and I tell not- myself, so I don't feel waste haul. It's better to throw this out than to get sick because I don't want to yeah. have to go to the hospital right Here's now. Here's the thing. You don't want to go to the hospital right now. They don't want to see you. They're just going to say, stay home, vomit it all out. And, you know, yeah, I'm sorry. That's what they're going to tell you. <laughs> so, so I want you to make an inventory of the food you actually have, okay? And then can you get, where can you go to order food that you need? Mm-hmm. So uh, you your supermarket's not your only resource. There's Amazon. There are individual distributors. Some of them are still functioning. So go and check alternate food sources. Check restaurant supply, things like that, you know, that where you might be able to get some of those things and just fill in the edges. So figure out the meals you want to create and then, okay, but maybe I need mayo and I don't have that. Now, the first thing I want to say, like with mayo, if you're saying, Okay, but do you have a can of cream of celery soup? Could that be a substitute for it? Yesterday, I made the best, oh my goodness, um, pulled pork. It was so Ooh. delicious. This, um, the, the website was the Salty Marshmallow. But the one thing I I've didn't- I've been to that one, yes. Yes, she's very popular. So the one ingredient I didn't have here at my mom's house was apple cider vinegar. And I'm like, oh, it's at my house, but I can't get to it. But just look up what substitutions you can make. And so I looked it up. Lemon juice can be substituted one for one for apple cider vinegar in most of these recipes. So I did it. It was delicious. Now, did we have the rolls that I wanted to have? Of course not. But that's okay. We just put them on slices of bread. We had some pickles. My mom, we had four potatoes. My mom made potato salad. You know, one of the best meals of my life. So just start to think about what do I need to fill in? You don't need to buy a bunch of pre-made meals. You don't need to do that. But here's how I want you to think going forward now. How can I always have two weeks worth of food on hand that is shelf stable? So we're talking things like beans. We're talking things like powdered milk. By the way, powdered milk, the most important thing to know on that. If you're going to drink it, you know, I use powdered milk for recipes all the time, but if you're going to drink it, make sure you mix it up really well ahead of time and put it in your fridge. Okay. Yeah. That's really important. If you I vaguely drink- remember that when I was a kid, we had powdered milk and um, yeah. I don't know why my mom had us drink it at that particular moment. I don't, I don't think it was like, can't afford it. I think it may have been that it was perishing soon or like the expiration yeah. date was coming, but right. I was like, this stuff is gross. <laughs> yes. So you have to shake it up and make it really chilly beforehand. But here's the other thing to know. Like if you're making a box of mac and cheese, you know, that, that powdered milk is great to do it with whatever you need. So think about that for recipes. Another thing is like, if you're baking, you can substitute one, I think it's a tablespoon. I can't remember if it's a tablespoon or a teaspoon, but go to your friend Google of soy flour for an egg. And, um, or if you don't have the right oil, you can use applesauce. So it's time to get creative with what you have. We are much more creative beings than we know. 
The other thing Absolutely. I will say is I want you to make sure you have emergency water on hand because God forbid something happens and your water is interrupted. This happened to us at the Red House. We have emergency water um, buckets. So like not buckets, but containers. Mm -hmm. So you look at water storage on Amazon. And now while you have a little extra free time on your hands, or you can have your kids start helping you get prepared. And one of the things we're coming out with, Christy, in the next week, I don't know if it'll be ready in time for this, but if they send, we'll make sure that if they send us an email, we can let them know when it's going to be available, is we have a five-day homeschooling course for Ready for Anything. So, oh, fun. Isn't that fun? So it's preparing your water, your food, your power, your Cute. Money. Now I'm getting it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we want you to prepare as a family. And so your kids can help with this. And the fifth Love that. category is first aid. So they can help you get your first aid kit together and things like that. So oh, I'm super so excited. Perfect. Isn't that great? We have a homeschooling mom on our staff who's like, I want to do this. And I'm like, I want you to do that. That's right. So, yeah. It's yours. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very, very excited about that. Oh, that is so great. Well, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Those are amazing tips. And actually I'm laughing because I, as you were talking, I'm going to admit like last night, because I had done an inventory again, like when, yeah. when everything, we first started hearing about things, I was like, okay, game on. So I took an inventory of everything in my freezer. And last night I was typing it up. And um, the reason I typed it, because I wanted to be able to track it a little bit better. You can use yeah. a piece of paper. But the other thing that I did is I meal planned off of what I know that I have on right. hand. So I already thought of it. And I mean, we have Google. And so sometimes I'm like, okay, I forgot that I had that random fish. I, yes. Yeah. If anybody's ever watched any of my video, I always have random fish in my, because people are like, here, Christy, you've got a lot of kids. You, you probably need fish. I don't know how to prepare fish very well. So I've got a few okay. fish recipes. So people because can have to like send me comments. Is this because you're fish. in San Diego and people go fishing a lot? Yeah. Well, some people, yes. So like we had some people who brought fish, but like, I don't know. But, okay. Yeah. Cause I guess those are, yeah, the fish that we've gotten. And we also have random fish. Cause sometimes I go, I'm going to, I'm going to make fish. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Fish is healthy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Okay. So I do you know how to make great salmon? I have some great salmon recipes, but oh, I just, salmon's the best. I feel like no one should ever give me fish unless they say, here, it, it, here's the how recipe. You it. Yes. This is what you do with this thing. <laughs> I know. I'm like, you oh, know what? no. You're oh, gonna no. Get, you're going to get super creative. That's what you're going to do. I know. I'm like, flour, salt, pepper, fry it. That works, right? For there everything. There you go. I don't know. And you guys, I'm touching my face a lot. I my nose is as itchy as it's ever been. And so I'm just gonna go like that. And do it. I can't concentrate while my nose is itching. So I'm gonna go wash my hands right after this. I promise. You're so cute. No, I swallowed wrong on my on an alive interview yesterday. And oh. I laughed because like the whole time she was closing out the show and I'm like, I have to cough right now. I'm like, I don't have water next to me. Where's my water? Oh. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to mute my mic and just cough. And I'm like, I promise it's not Corona. I, I, I swallowed healthy. wrong. I promise. <laughs> oh my goodness. The day before the lockdown, I was at Ikea returning some things and somebody sneezed and I said, God bless you. And they said, that's the nicest thing I've heard. I thought I was going to clear the room. Oh, no. I'm like, oh, oh friend, you can't help it. You can't help it. No, I know, yeah. I know. Now, if they went like, hey, yo, and like sneeze yeah. on you, no, then they yeah. did not. There was an elbow involved. It was all good. Right. Yes. I've been told the kids that are called because again, like everything happened and it's like life was still normal. But I went ahead and I were I was teaching an anatomy class at our our homeschool co-op, which we're no longer doing right now, yes, like everybody else. Um, but I was teaching all the kids I had them practice. I'm like, okay, count Dracula. I'm like, and now you cough and now you sneeze. <laughs> but I called it the count Dracula. Like, I love it. I'm like, Count Dracula is not going to be like all sneaky out here. He's going to get in there. So That's right. <laughs> You're going to get buried. Get in there. Yeah. I know. Well, Kathy, where can people, well, first, where can they get your resources, but how and when can we get your wonderful new book ready for anything? Because we okay. need it now. Yeah. So you can get, you know, uh, Amazon is not shipping books for a while, which is for this one. Okay. Because it, the print version doesn't come out till May 19th, but April 7th, okay. You're going to be able to get this book and we're going to have all sorts of fun, um, amazing, you can use right now downloads. So when you pre-order, so oh, that good. should be going up on Thursday. So um, if you go to kathylip.com slash RFA, ready for anything, 
um, you will be able to get all those downloads. If you, especially if you, pre, when you pre-order the book, we're giving, I mean, we're just giving hundreds of dollars of things away, including our course, Kickstart, your Kickstart to Clutter Free. We're doing a two-week meal plan. We're doing oh. the home, we're doing everything. So go check it out over it. there. Oh, yeah. I love it. And, well, and you can get the you. Kindle version April 7th. So pre-order it and you can get that Kindle version. Yeah, get the Kindle version. And um, yeah, it because <laughs> April 7th is right around the corner. I yes. can't believe it. What? It's crazy, right? Oh, crazy. Well, yeah. we'll have all of those links in the description below. So make sure all of you YouTube watchers are going down to the show notes below and you will see all of the links to everything Kathy just mentioned and maybe some other things because... I have lots of other resources I want to make sure people see. Like you were talking about making sure we're ordering food. Like there's lots of companies. So I'm going to put those resources down below as well. Yes. That I, that's so important. And if there are companies that we can support right now, you know, these little mom and pop stores, this is what we want to be doing. Yeah. I saw my first going out of business sale um, on Instagram this morning from just a small Um, little online shop. And I was like, Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. We've got a lot of people that, um, our interns for us and, you know, their, their businesses are going out and we're trying to do as much as we can, but it, yeah. this is a time for all of us to come together. It is, it yeah. is. And that is the one interesting thing that makes this really a, a beautiful thing. If we, if we can flip it and look at the positive side is we're learning how to have empathy right. for all nations yes. and for one another, because exactly. we're all in this together. And th- this right. is like something that you could not make up, like how, in the world, could we ever come up with something like this? And one thing that I am so thankful for, I'm praising the Lord for, is that it's not worse. I mean, coronavirus is serious, and I'm hoping that people are staying home and taking this seriously Um, and being wise if they're going out and getting things, especially grocery things. You know, I'm like, I am Clorox wiping down things when they come into my home um, because we did get some milk the other day. But the most important thing right now is that we're praying for one another and that we are grateful that God can calm our fears because that's one thing with scripture is that we see time and time again, God tells us not to fear and he tells us to trust him. So yeah. trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean mm-hmm. not on your own understanding. And yeah. you have to remember that God did not give us a spirit of fear and timidity, but he gave no. us a spirit of power, power. of love and of self-discipline. No. So that's what we have to remind ourselves of time and time again. Yeah. You know, this is our time to be good neighbors to the person next door yes. and the person around the world. And mm-hmm. by us staying home and doing what we need to do and being prepared in the ways that we can be prepared, yes. it, it's going to save a life on the other side of the world. And that's who we are because, you know, this isn't the Chinese virus. This is an everybody virus. Everybody. And yeah. we, we are good citizens of the world because we love the person. We love the one who created the world. And Absolutely. so, yeah, we want to be powerful, powerful neighbors in all of this. Christy, thanks it. so much for having me on. Yes, what a thank you so you much. Are. Oh, well, thank you. And thank you for taking time to come and be with us today. Oh, are you kidding? I, there's no place I'd rather be. And there's no place I can be. So there we go. <laughs> That's right. You're stuck. <laughs> I was laughing. I'm like, I'm sure she'll have some time. I know you're getting booked. <laughs> I literally texted you yesterday. I'm like, want to do a live YouTube thing? <laughs> And, you know, it's amazing. Roger and I are like, I know people say their schedules are slowing down. That hasn't quite happened for us, but it is nice. There's no travel time. So that's right. Yeah. Right. (laughs) All right. Well, thanks, Kathy. Thank you, Christy. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Simply Joyful Podcast. Be sure to check out all the episodes available from the podcast by going to simplyjoyfulpodcast.com. Also, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube so you don't miss all of the other videos that we have coming your way. Have a great rest of your week and don't forget to live simply and be joyful.